Hey, welcome back to another video. Um, I was asked if I was gonna surface my heads and get them machined. I initially said no. I was thinking I didn't need to, but I went and inspected them and uh, let's check out the results. So I took them in where I had access to a granite table. Um, a granite table's really flat. Um, it's used to inspect uh, machine parts. Um, the only downside is it's very smooth and hard to do the procedure that I'm doing here. Uh, first of all, I took Dicom Blue Layout Dye. I covered the surface of the head. Um, let that dry. If you want to quicken it up, take an air nozzle and blow some air on it. Let it uh, degas or uh, just take a break. Let it degas after you get both heads covered. Then after you do that. Um, you're going to want to uh, set it on to the granite table upside down or uh, face down. Make sure you don't have any like bits of metal or little burrs on there. You want to get rid of the burrs first definitely before you uh, blow it up. But if you think it's flat like where you want to set it on the engine, um, you're going to set it down the granite table and start moving it side to, side to side and try to wear down the high spots and uh, it's gonna light up the high spots fairly good um, unless they're really close it's gonna rub down a patch or uh, a point or it's gonna rub down the high spots where it's gonna touch the head first before it touches the entire head so you really want this to clean up quite a bit and uh, as you can see it didn't clean up too good it uh, actually cleaned up right where the bolts go which is uh, fairly interesting that means it's going to clamp where the bolts are clamping but it's not going to have a whole lot of sealing effect around the chambers which uh correct me if i'm wrong it's probably not a good thing so i got both heads done one head was a little bit better than the other uh, just just uh having it clean up work right where the bolts are um Probably not a good thing. So I definitely think I'm gonna have to surface these, surface these heads. Maybe a valve job. I'm not really sure. I should lap the valves before I uh, take to the machine so they can get all done. Otherwise, I might be able to machine them myself. Maybe. But yeah, we'll uh, take a closer look at the head I just did, and then um, the second head which I did earlier which uh, I think it turned out a lot better. So let's take a quick look. Forgive my audio if you hear the little clicking in the audio, it's just the handle I have on my GoPro, which using a GoPro. But we'll look closer here. It uh, kind of polished up this area, right where that center bolt goes. Um, right here where the other bolt goes, I think that's the torque pattern. I'll have to look it up. Then it started cleaning up over here, close to this bolt, close to the wire jet jacket actually, right up there. And then uh, kind of put pressure on one corner versus the other. So really, this head is gonna sit on three points, or any part that you want flat is gonna sit on three points, one way or another. Um, it's gonna sit on the highest points, until you really torque it down and uh, make those points even. But uh, going on the other edge, this is where the other high point is. See where the mill marks are uh, higher than the whole entire surface, but a little bit there. So this head didn't do a very good job of uh, <laughs> showing that it's super flat. You can't, I didn't feel a rock in it. Like, uh, I mean a rock as in tippy. So, uh, it was, actually the rock would be like over here to here, but it looked like it scraped up a little over here. Kind of scraped up a little over here. So it's, it's all over the place. But I don't have like a good majority of uh, the blue dye that wore off, which uh, it's kind of concerning. So let's take a look at the other head. All right, this is the other head I did first, which uh, seems like I had a lot more success. It really cleaned up this area right here. It might have just worn down the 
blowing better, but I don't know. This it just seemed better. Like it uh, polished up right here, over here, over here. Pretty consistent with uh, what the other head was showing, just a little bit more exaggerated. It might have worn off from like handling from first to second. This one might have been a little bit rougher, but I don't have as much cleaning around the cylinders as I wish it would be. So uh, if you think you don't need to mill your heads or get them surfaced after removing them from the block, these are stock heads, these weren't milled either. So, and they were fresh off the block too. They weren't sitting or nothing. They're just, uh, just came off, cleaned up, still didn't get these ports clean but since I gotta mill them up I might have to do another cleaning so yeah that's that's what I decided on and someone did mention in uh, my other video of the heads that I should clean them up which uh, I was thinking uh, I don't want to spend the money but after doing like this little test here I think I'm gonna have to if you uh I think my testing was uh, wrong or you know whatnot. I think it's a fairly accurate accurate assumption that these need to be milled. Um, that little, little uh, <clears throat> the little procedure is kind of what mill rights do to make their CN or make CNCs accurate on their ta uh, tables with the ways. So the, it's actually like called scraping. So after further review, um, I think I'm gonna have to mill these heads. Um, if you kind of disagree with uh, my method of checking these heads, uh, leave it down in the comments. Uh, let me know how you would have done it. Um, I know best would be to have this on a table and run an indicator all over it, but even then you're going to have like variants of tents all over the place and, you know, it's probably not as good as a freshly milled head. But then again, a freshly milled head could uh, be tweaked one way or another if they're not careful enough so yeah uh, let me know what you think uh, put it down in the comments and uh, if you think your heads are good enough coming off the block and going back on them maybe you should reconsider so all right I'll let it here and uh, have a good one <laughs>